Hey everyone, it's Vintage Vinny, and welcome to another Shop With Me video. In today's Shop With Me, I take you all to the Berkeley Springs Antique Mall in Berkeley Springs, West Virginia. So I'm going to take you all around there, and then I'm going to share everything that I purchased from the Hancock Antique Mall in Hancock, Maryland. So let's go check out Berkeley Springs Antique Mall.
So I spent a grand total of zero dollars and zero cents at Berkeley Springs Antique Mall. As you can tell by the title of this video, I had major sticker shock. Extremely high prices, no sales in any of the booths except for one showcase, and they were hosting a 25% off sale, nothing I was interested in personally. I haven't been there since about 2021, so that tells you that it's not a place that I go very often because the prices, as you could see in the video, were absolutely ridiculous. So I was in one of the uh, booths that I like to go into just to kind of laugh at some of the dealer's prices. And there was a guy my age and his girlfriend, and she was talking about how she really liked something like this, like one of these like shell souvenir items or like made to look like a person. And they had a much smaller one and the dealer wanted $40 for it. And it was miniature like I kid you not small small and then this one I actually picked up at a thrift store in Hancock and I paid next to nothing for it so the last time I ever bought anything in there was for my 26th birthday and I bought that seahorse lamp and cl uh, clock console set if you don't remember what it looks like I'll insert a snapshot of it here but it is just, I, and I always remind myself after I'm done there, like I should never ever come back here because like I said, the prices are high, things stay there forever, and the tags are so faded on some things you can't even tell how much they are. Um, and there was one other thing that I wanted to note. There are some booths that are in there that have the same merchandise sitting in the exact same spot from the last time I was there two years ago. So you know that some things are just not flying out of there. And I hate to say that about a place where, you know, you're supporting small businesses, but even as a collector, I can't pay those prices. Because how I do things, you know, yes, I pay up for things sometimes if I really like it, but I also you know, make sure that even though I'm paying up that it's still, you know, I can still make a little bit of money on it if I have to end up selling it in the future. I'm just a very frugal seller and collector. That's just how I've always been. But anywho, enough about the uh, negative of Berkeley Springs Antique Mall. Let's go ahead and check out the fun stuff that I got when I was in the Hancock Antique Mall. I also picked up some things at Goodwill, so you guys will be seeing that. There's a Goodwill in Berkeley Springs. I went to that right after I was done at the Antique Mall. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. I spent $96.44. So y'all will have to tell me how I did. So I found this ashtray. It's cobalt blue. It reminds me a lot of Vikings Georgian Honeycomb. But I did a Google Lens search, and I looked up that pattern on eBay, and I did not see this little ashtray. I saw a little one that was a bit more chunkier that was listed as Viking, but I don't know if this is. So you can let me know down below in the comment section. I just picked it up because the price was right, and I love cobalt blue. This planter, look at the color of that. Isn't that just amazing? Made by, looks like Upco USA. Like I said, I love that 1950s aqua color. Just a fantastic piece. That looks like a glaze skip right there, not a chip. This is just from the Goodwill. It's not old. Um, it holds Q-tips and cotton balls, I believe. But I think I have enough Q-tips to the point where I could fill this up completely. I paid only a dollar for that. Even if you buy this stuff brand new, uh, like at Marshalls or Home Goods or even Walmart, these can be like eight or nine dollars. Sometimes twelve ninety nine, depending on the uh, name of it. So for a dollar, I couldn't say no. So that'll go to use in my bathroom. I did find, and Dee is probably going to hate me for this. I found a little mini head vase. She's missing an earring. She did have a little bit of damage to her eyelash, but I touched it up with some black nail polish, and it looks like she had a little bit of damage on her nose. But 
Either way, I still love her. And D, it is all your fault that I buy these now. But I do like them. And they definitely represent an era of, you know, beauty of the, I think this is probably from the early 60s. Probably made by Anarcho. I did find a 1979 Pillsbury Doughboy cup. I had to take a magic eraser to it because it was filthy, filthy. But look how nice it cleaned up. These were absolutely fantastic finds. I did get some cranberry glass. Look at that. That's like a little melon vase there. And it looks like it's got little pearls in it. I will say I did pay 10 bucks a piece, but I felt that that was a phenomenal price. So I got that one. Just make sure I don't chip any of them. And then I got this one. I want to say that they're Fenton, but I know many glass companies issued cranberry glass. And it's got kind of like an optic look to it. Almost looks like a hurricane shade. This one I am probably going to keep because I love it. Look at that. It's a Jack in the Pulpit cranberry with the like a white swirl in it i think it's hand blown it's got a smoothed pontal how awesome is that i think this is like i said this is probably gonna be the only piece that i keep of those three and that was a very good price ten dollars so i had to pick that up this is just a footed creamer I just loved the floral pattern on it. That's what initially drew me to it. And the fact that these flowers are not broken is quite remarkable. So that will be up for grabs. And I love this texture. It's almost like a beaded design. Love it. So I went ahead and picked that up. Got that was from the Goodwill. I did find a poodle uh, earring holder. I got that for 50% off. I even got this clock for 50% off. It is a Big Ben, a West Clock's Big Ben clock, and it's heavy duty. It does have a patent date on it of 1927. I have not decided if I will be selling that or not because I do like the old clocks, but we shall see. I also found a McCoy, I think this is either a sheep or a lamb, it is marked McCoy USA on the bottom. It's a nice tall planter. So I could not say no to that. Um, oh yes. I also found this and this is another keeper. Look at this silhouette, very coastal. It's from 1942. It's of a captain steering his ship wheel in one of the old um, ship windows. I love that, and it's got a really nice sunset background. Definitely a keeper. Can't believe it was at this antique mall for a really good price. Oops. So this also came from the Goodwill. It's just a cold painted Santa Claus bell. I have no idea who makes it. Usually I steer clear from bells, but this one was speaking to me and I had to have them. I mean, it's a side eye Santa, how could you resist? I found this little dish here. It's got flowers in it. I have no idea who makes it. I almost want to say maybe it's German because they have numbers stamped into the porcelain there. That's just a nice little dish to maybe throw your loose change in or maybe some jewelry. Great for your vanity. Got this little bell too. I believe this came from the Goodwill. Yep. Uh, this is made by Salem and it's from Japan. I think I've had a couple pieces of something like this before, and I believe this was 50% off. So I got that for 50 cents. So I couldn't leave that. I love this table lighter. Look at that. I have no idea who makes it, but I love that like shiny, blocky texture to it. This, I think it does come out. Yep, comes out. But that is absolutely fantastic. Classic 1960s. It opens up a little bit. I know if you spray some WD-40, that usually fixes that and it'll pop open real fast. And then I found this. This is really different. I have not seen this before. I looked it up real quick and I could not find it. So this very well could be vintage. I have no idea. This is Sybil Ives Swedish Bath Oil. I have no idea how valuable it is. 
Um, I may just throw it up on eBay for some crazy price and see what happens. Because you never know. Somebody out there could remember this or they could really like it and not be able to find it anywhere. So we shall see. I haven't decided what I'm doing with that just yet. Oh, and I did find these. I've got four stained glass items. We've got balloons, all different colors. Um, these are sun catchers. I'm sorry, the person wrote stained glass on them. We've got a hot air balloon. Um, this one would probably be great since it is June and Pride Month is this month. So anybody who is a member of the gay community would probably really love something like that if you really like the rainbow motif. There is a kite. Unfortunately, I think it may have been broken because look, here are the, um, the tail. And it, I may have to re-glue that together, but I don't know if it, something was broken off here or if that's just supposed to have only two. I almost want to say there's supposed to be three, um, three bows or three tails or something on there, but it is what it is. And then there's a teddy bear one, which is super cute. I mean, look at that. Can't even say no to something like that. That is just adorable. And folks, I think that will do it for my shopping trip to the Hancock Antique Mall and my Shop With Me video. Let me know down below in the comment section what were your favorite items and what did y'all think of Berkeley Springs Antique Mall? I mean, was I the only one who thought they were a little nuts? Let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Sorry about that, guys. I actually had three other items that I completely forgot about because they were on the floor next to my chair. But I thought this was adorable. This is a, is it flocked? It's just an old Christmas stocking. But it's got Santa Claus on a sleigh with his reindeer. Thought that was awesome. I found this brand new pack of new old stock guest towels, yellow. Look at that silhouette on the foil tag right there. How cool is that? New and sealed, never been used. I may look those up and see what they're going for and go from there. Oh, it even has a um, sticker on it. It says two-piece guest towel set. Very, very cool. I also found a copy of the... Oh, what year is this from? 1952 movie The Quiet Man with John Wayne and Maureen O'Hara. I heard that that was a very good movie, so I'm looking forward to watching that. So now that concludes my shopping trip to the Hancock Antique Mall. Let me know down below, what are your favorite items?